Hello, my name's Corey Young and I'm a doctor. I have in my hand some sand. Look now. I take one grain of sand. Can something as small as that harm us? Look at it now in the microscope, 200 times larger. Well, everywhere around us, there are germs, tiny organisms, such as viruses and bacteria, that are so small that we can't even see them. Viruses, which the immune system protects us against, are the smallest. If viruses were as big as us, how big would that grain of sand have to be? It would be about the size of France or the state of Texas. Or to put it another way, how many viruses could you fit on that one grain of sand? About nine billion or more than there are people in the whole world. And we need protection against these tiny enemies. Our body, or more precisely the immune system, is a set of tools we have to protect us against bacteria and viruses. What is the immune system? We have a lot of systems in the body. We have a digestive system, which allows us to use these tools to eat food. We have a respiratory system, which is a set of tools that allows us to breathe. The immune system is a set of tools we have which allows us to fight against and defend us against bacteria and viruses and diseases. Our immune system can be compared to an army, but like any army, it needs the right equipment. We can equip it better by making the body stronger or by using weapons, but we need to pick the right weapons. Imagine that if you wanted to hunt wild boar with a mousetrap, or to shoot duck but with a cannon, it wouldn't work. So you need the right weapon to fight, the, to do the right job. A doctor's job is to pick the right weapons. There are lots of different germs, and they all cause different sorts of diseases attacking different parts of the body. The doctor's job, first, is to decide what virus or bacteria is attacking you. And then, he will choose the right weapon. He'll choose a different weapon to fight the flu, a different weapon to fight an ear infection, and a different set of weapons to fight a cold. Imagine you go to the doctor with a cold. What does this really mean? Well, the common cold is usually caused by a kind of virus called a rhinovirus. And this means you've been attacked by a rhinovirus. Now, this has nothing to do with a rhinoceros. Uh, rhino just means nose, and so the rhinovirus causes the cold with a blocked, runny nose, which is what makes you feel so ill. In fact, rhinoviruses, which are responsible for colds, are incredibly contagious. This means that they try to jump really easily from one person to another in order to attack them. Just look what happens when someone sneezes without covering their nose. In those droplets, there are millions and millions of rhinoviruses just waiting to try to attack someone. These viruses can also move from one person to another person just by touching them, for instance, when you shake their hand. In fact, children are particularly at risk because you spend lots of time in large groups of other children, touching each other, sneezing, and also your immune systems are weaker than in adults, just like your muscles are weaker. So think about these things. How do we know when we're sick? Does our body protect itself or do we help it? What can you do to protect yourselves? And is it better to avoid disease or to fight it? Bye-bye.